This is not Creed Rocky or any other fictional boxing story. Everything you see here happened and all of these events took place. Previously, on Behind the Boxer, you witnessed Flo, Coach Rick, and their unwavering team embark on a tumultuous journey to Nashville, Tennessee. Through trials and tribulations, they persevered, arriving at the brink of battle. Now, as the saga unfolds, brace yourselves for the next chapter in this gripping tale of determination and valor. Alright, so we got weigh-in coming up in about, shoot, probably about an hour or so. This is actually the best way in out of day so far, usually, but the only thing I like about this way in is at 7 o'clock. I mean, it's damn near on fight day, but hey, we're going to roll for punches. Um, but the thing that was good about this one, like I said, with Coach Rick Rubble, he got me to bring my scale to this fight, which I usually never bring my scale to a way in. I usually just fly. And then what I used to do is say a way in is on, let's just say, Thursday or Friday. My last time eating would be like Wednesday, eating and drinking, and I won't eat or drink nothing until whatever the way in is for on Friday. So I used to do like, 50, 60 hours, fasted, both food and uh, liquids or whatever. So, but this time, he was like, bring your scale. So last night, I got to drink two bottles of water. Well, let me say first, he told me he couldn't wait. So he was like, walk around like 56, 57. This time I was walking around about 50. So then, after that, I got here. I got to eat a burger last night, which is insane. That's like, that's straight Jehovah Jesus work. Um, then I got to drink two bottles of water, which was insane for me. And then today I got to worked out. I was about 49, worked out. I was 47 on a diet, so I got to drink uh, this protein shake that had all the vitamins and stuff in it to keep my energy up. And so I was um, 47.2 a couple hours ago, I'm about to weigh myself. Um, right now, I kind of use the bathroom, eat, I'm about to weigh myself now to see where I'm at before we go to the win. But anyway, I'm right on, I'm all right there, and I feel good. I'm fight ready today where I'm too busy. And um, my legs feel crazy, my legs usually feel crazy, now my legs feel good. So it's been a good experience, but I still can't wait to get these little in. Uh, right after this weigh in, eat some food, food. But yeah, it's been, it's been a great time, so we're ready to get in the car now. And head over there, you know, get the formality out the way, get to the vittles in the mar, get to some more vittles um, in the ring. You feel what I'm saying, okay? So, you know what I mean? There's no way that you make it. And maybe you can fake it. But you're never gonna make it. Aren't you just gonna take that? Make them take it all back. Don't tell me you believe that Aren't you just gonna take that Or will you fucking fight back Official weight, 104.3 pounds. 
I really just ready to get this shit going, man. I'm, I'm, I'm anxious already. I really just want to get in there and punch this nigga in this shit. No disrespect, but I just want to punch him in this stuff. All the goof, goofy giggling and shit. Shit never shook my hand. I just realized he really weak as fuck. He tried to shake my hand and be funny, but nigga Bones made a goddamn milk, so... It's about to be a crazy night. I hope he's ready, because I'm coming straight to the middle of this little ass ring. And I'm just gonna go down try to put as many hands as I can, like a punching bag. I ain't stopping till he dropping. You did what I'm saying, KSO? So I'll find no motherfucking smoke. Yeah, I thought we was dead, we just went ahead of a group. Let's get it. Gloves talk behind the boxer. Coach Rick Real, Coach K. Let's go. End up being 143 on that old ass scale that Muhammad Ali used to step on. Mm. Uh, yeah, that was crazy. I ain't seen a sale that old in at least ever. Yeah. But yeah, when it got when it got our bills, man, <laughs> feeling good. We went in there. We was, we was, we was official whistle. We had got that outfit on. Everybody was looking. They like, I don't know who those who those guys are, but they gotta be somebody. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a good time, man. Had a good time. Got in there, did the face off. Face off was cool. Um, now we just coming here eating the bills, enjoying ourselves. We we'll get some rest in. There. Get ready for war tomorrow. It's a, a tough fighter, so we're gonna we're gonna see what happens going there, and uh, go toe to toe and see how it go. Okay, so I let Rick Rude finish y'all. And like I said, shit, <laughs> my method. You try my method. And being <laughs> you try my method, my method work. Cause he ain't a humble nigga. And like I said, <laughs> being that, <laughs> but being that, you know, he tried my method. It worked. He feels good. Yeah, I feel good. And the way he ends, nobody will fuck with us. Like I said, that, that, who, what is it? What, what's, what's it called? Marsh Creations, what's it called? Marsh Creations. My child of Marsh Creations. Found a Tamika, man. She had a looking official whistle on that thing, no referee. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All day long. So official, EA, yeah, listen. I, I ain't even seen the picture. I sent the picture not with the, the outfit on. I sent the picture. And I laid on my bed. My wife and my dude was like, "Where mine at?" You know, everybody want a piece of that Marsh creation. So yeah, she definitely doing things. Shout out to her. Yeah. yeah. So again, again, <laughs> you know, Flo Flo said it. Flo said it the best. You know what I'm saying? So shouts out the retro. Yep. Shout out, you know what I'm saying? Shout. Shout out to everybody because everybody came together as a team to make this shit happen. Yep. And being that we came together as a team and made this shit happen, and we made it look good. Yeah. Going into a place that the main event ain't got no motherfucking clothes on. He's like a bum that look like that he should be motherfucking serving the bean pies out the back of the ah. goddamn the I stove. Know. I, I mean, bean pie with no bow tie. With no, I mean, with no bow tie. Oh, yeah, he's flat. Yeah, he you know what I'm saying? But. Ah. For well, us to come in there, look at official, being official, as you look in the way in, you see his opponent try to make a smile. Flo looked at him with a dead face. When you look at a person with a dead face, that lets you know it don't matter what you do. No matter what you say, you're not gonna get up on my skin. Or what you're gonna do is make me go to your ass even more. Because then we get in the ring. So, with that being said, I did ain't humble. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna fuck up these goddamn wings. What kind of wings you got on that? I got some Rick Ross wings over this thing. What look official? What, what, what these are? What flavor? Uh, I think these are uh, the Polynesians. As the weigh-in concludes and Flo indulges in some well-deserved boo noodles, anticipation reaches its zenith. The stage is set, the fighters primed. But amidst the camaraderie and indulgence, the looming question remains, will Flo emerge victorious can he conquer his opponent and seize the glory that beckons join us next week for the final showdown as the saga of Behind the Boxer reaches its electrifying conclusion. <laughs>